Hey, what's up, guys? You're here with Goran, and thank you for joining me here once again for your free picks this time for Thursday, December 21st. Well, guys, on Thursday, we have only four games to talk about, uh, which is not even close to what we had on Wednesday, and we actually had a very, very good day on Wednesday. Uh, sweeping the board in Bundesliga with six wins out of six games. Uh, we've hit uh, uh, one pick in La Liga, and as we speak right now, Athletic Bilbao is looking for a win against Las Palmas, which, as a matter of fact, is the last game of the parlay I left for you guys in the comments. Uh, we did hit that uh, EFL Cup matchup between Liverpool and West Ham. Uh, we did lose to Barcelona, who can't really stop conceding goals. They did end up winning that game, but... Uh, we had them at minus one in the first half. Uh, we split uh, score in the French League one, two losses and two wins. Uh, Marseille got a draw and uh, Nice uh, was able to beat Lens at home. While uh, Mbappe got over two and a half shots on target for nice plus money. And uh, Toulouse and Monaco had an exciting game that ended with a few goals, which we had both teams to score in over two and a half. Uh, so Thursday, guys, like I said, we have four games, one game in the EPL and three games in La Liga. So stay tuned for those. And of course, stay tuned for more free picks coming up this weekend. So subscribe and make sure you hit that like button. And for my best bets, of course, click the link in the description. And that will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, three-day pass, or seven-day pass if that's something you want to do. And we had a profitable Wednesday as well. Uh, let's get this show on the road, guys. The first game to talk about is in the EPL. It's between Crystal Palace and Brighton. And uh, what came down to uh, it? In, in this game, at least for me, is the fact uh, who can outscore who in, 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 in this game. Uh, we have seen a lot of draws in this matchup. Um, whether Crystal Palace was the home team or Brighton was the home team, we have seen a lot of draws, I gotta be honest. And uh, even though uh, Crystal Palace got a precious 2-2 draw against Manchester City on their own uh, last weekend, uh, I think that was more of a testament to Manchester City and their current form than... Uh, than to Crystal Palace. And um, they are coming into this game with a bunch of injured players. They still have a suspended player as well. And uh, it's not like Brighton is any better right now when it comes to injuries. They're missing a ton of players. However, they have a lot more depth than, uh, than Crystal Palace has. And uh, what came down to, like I said in this game, uh, is who can outscore who, and uh, I don't think that Crystal Palace can outscore Brighton at the moment, but Brighton definitely with all, the, all all of their offensive capabilities, and the fact that they have been scoring goals quite consistently, whether they play at home or on the road, I think they will get a win in this one, so I decided to go with Brighton on the body lane at plus 123 in this one, and uh, I think this is going to be a fairly tight game, but I think that Brighton will come out on top in this one. Now we are off to Spanish La Liga, guys, where we have three games. The first one is between uh, between Cadiz and Real Sociedad. And I'm going to keep this one very, very simple, guys. Even though Real Sociedad hasn't won any of their last two games, they are having an outstanding season so far. Uh, whether they play at home or on the road, they are fairly solid. Uh, while Cadiz on the other side is one of the worst teams in the league. And uh, yes, they have been playing their best football at home this season. But with the way... Uh, Real Sociedad is playing this season. They like to have the possession. They like to control the game. I think this is going to be a very, very hard game for Cadiz. So we are getting a great price on Real Sociedad on the money line. It's minus 127 right now. And I will take this pick uh, gladly, guys. So I'm taking Sociedad on the money line. In the next game, guys, we have Betis playing against Girona. And uh, this was one of those games where immediately when I saw the matchup, I thought of cards. And uh, we are getting surprisingly low line, to be honest. Over four and a half cards at minus 148. I will take this any day of the week. Even if I end up losing this one, I will not be sorry because we have two teams who like to fight on the pitch. And uh, two teams that have been in a fairly solid form, especially Girona, who's still at the top of the table on a four-game winning streak. And uh, they do not shy away from, uh, from getting a little bit rougher with their opponents and um, I, I I think this is going to be a highly competitive game guys and with that we know that we get fouls we get cards uh, there's going to be a lot of nervous energy on the pitch as well so uh, Betis versus Girona over 4.5 cards at minus 148. 
And the last pick of this video, guys, is between uh, Deportivo Alaves and Real Madrid. Now, uh, Real Madrid is surprising enough only by this one in the favorites. I'm not sure why. I know that they have a lot of injured players and they have lost uh, David Alaba until the end of the season. He tore his ACL. Uh, so he's just another number now in, in, in that uh, field hospital that is Real Madrid. But uh, this is the team that's on a nice winning streak right now. This is a team that's scoring a lot of goals. They have scored seven goals in their last two games. And uh, Deportivo Alaves uh, is honestly not a good defensive team. They have conceded uh, 23 goals in 17 games. And they are conceding about a goal and a half a little bit less when playing at home. So... Uh, I'm not going to try to push it to over two and a half, but I will take Real Madrid to win it over one and a half goals. Even with all the injuries they have, Real Madrid is probably twice as better team than uh, Deportivo Alaves is right now. And uh, you know what? They are getting the hang of their goal scoring form. Uh, they are getting more output from some other players other than Jude Bellingham, that is. And uh, I see them winning this game, however I slice it. I just uh, cannot go away from Real Madrid and we have to take advantage of the price we are getting it. I wouldn't blame you if it took over two and a half as well, uh, but I'm going to keep it simple and I'm, I'm, I'm going to take Real Madrid to win and over one and a half goals, which is minus 136. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me here. Like I said, stay tuned for those free picks coming up for the weekend. Um, I know that Bundesliga is on the break, La Liga is on the break as well, and the French League one. So we have EPL and we have some Serie A games. So stay tuned for those guys. And uh, good luck with all your bets. And uh, hope you have a great Thursday.